Hello, I'm Tony Trungone, Superintendent of Pemberton Township Schools, and welcome to another edition of Inside Outlook. Today marks one week that students and staff have been back in school, and our academics and extracurricular activities are now in full swing. But while students may have just returned to the classroom this past week, here at the high school, our athletes and band members have been attending practices and drills since the summer months, and the fall competition season is officially underway. Today, we're going to talk with some of the students and staff involved in the exciting fall season. To begin, I'd like to welcome PTHS Band Director, Mr. Q, Ray Quatrochi, who's going to tell us about the Hornets Marching Band season along with the seniors Josh Laude and Gabrielle Palante. So welcome, Mr. Quatrochi. how are you doing? I'm well, thank you. And Josh and Gabby. So I have a few questions for you. And I'm gonna start with you, Mr. Q. Uh, your students have a lot to prepare for over the summer and are ready to compete this fall. And I, I feel like the, the, our public needs to know what goes into um, all that needs to be uh, put in, the time put in, any effort, the ability and the rigor to, to get prepared for the season. So can you fill us in on that? Yeah, sure. Um, so we actually start planning for the season we're currently in right after our championships of last year. So as soon as they get off the field and our bus ride back, the staff starts thinking about, well, what are we gonna do next year? What's the show theme gonna be? Um, you know, and that's kind of the, the ball gets rolling. So over the summer, you know, the rest of the school year, we kind of decide on what our theme is, and then we start planning out our summer rehearsals. So we bring the kids in uh, Wednesday evenings throughout the summer as kind of like a introductory. You know, for the new kids, uh, we do allow eighth graders to march with us. Um, so they can come up and get a taste of what marching band is like, you know, get a little bit of training and stuff like that. So that when band camp hits, um, you know, we're ready to roll with uh, learning drill, learning music and all of that stuff. Oh, great. And so I, I have two students here and I want them to introduce themselves as I, I ask them this question. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you put in all these hours and, and what do you feel you get out of being a part of the band? So I'll start with you, Josh. Um, so, I, uh, this is my fourth year in the marching band. I play the marching snare drum. Um, in high school, I'm an AP student. Um, so I put in all the hours because I like to contribute everything I have to the marching band. Like, I want to give all my time, all my strength, so that I can just serve the program that we have here. Because I feel like Mr. Q has a, um, an amazing program built here. Um, what I get out of it is just the satisfaction. Um, music is my, pa my passion. So knowing that there's someone out there who is being inspired by our performance, that's just what I get out of it. That's great, and I've been watching you since you are in middle school uh, playing the violin. Oh. You're excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Gabby? Um, I've been in the marching band for five years now. I joined when I was in the eighth grade. And like what I get out of it, I just generally like performing to people. And I like performing in a group more than just by myself. So when I join, I like the family aspect of it and performing and putting on a show to everyone. Okay, great. So I, your parents are gonna be watching this. So I want you to formally give your full name and your, and your class, like if you're a junior, senior. Oh, uh, Gabrielle Plante, and okay. I'm a senior. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Nathaniel Josh Laude. <laughs> okay, I wanted to make sure we clarified that. <laughs> yes, um, and I'm a senior here. All right, good. All right, back to Mr. Q. So the Hornets actually had their first competition last week. So how did that go? Uh, it was good. It was a preview show. So it's like where we preview our show to a lot of the judges. There was probably more judges there than members of our band. Um, and uh, we did well. We got first place and our score was a 72.5 and that's out of 100. Mm -hmm. And um, it's the highest score we've uh, started the season with under my direction. So it's kind of exciting. We hope that this is gonna be a great season. Okay. How about the two of you? Your, th your thoughts on last week? I thought it was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a great experience. Um, I feel like for the first time marchers who didn't who have never tasted the competition atmosphere. It was exhilarating, like they were there, but they didn't know there would always, there would be a lot of marching bands everywhere just surrounded with music and la like clapping, everything. So yeah, it was really exciting. 
What about the underclassmen? So you, this isn't your first rodeo, the two of you, right? Mm -hmm. So you bring that excitement and they see that excess, the success from it, right? So what did you feel from your, your colleagues, that your, your classmates, your underclassmen? What did you, what did you get from them that they, with their eyes wide open and saying, wow, this is really bigger than I thought, right? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, okay. Got another question for you, Mr. Q. Sure. So you're coming off of two very successful seasons with winning the Atlantic Coast Championship in 2017 and earning second place in Region 1 Championships last year. Moving forward, what does the rest of the 2019 competition season look like? Well, um, it's very early, looks positive. Uh, we're hoping to bring home another championship this year. Uh, you know, we did get, when we won back in 2017, uh, we were in a division called A class. It's a division a little bit lower than open class. Open class is the highest level that you can achieve. So because of winning, they bumped us up into open class. So, you know, last year with the result we had, we were happy with, you know, our first year being in the more competitive class. And this year we hope to compete for the championship in the open class so I'm that looking, is to be determined i'm looking forward for it i was really excited because i you actually uh your band uh that winning season you played in front of the board at a board meeting yeah, right, yeah. and 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 then my perception of of what a competition would be musically and then how the integration of technology mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i don't think that uh people i think we have to do a better job myself with letting people know the the type of presentation you had it was very different yeah. from what my perception of what a band competition would entail yeah so there is that you know when you when you go to these competitions the the themes that the bands put on are, are such a a vast it's, it's such a huge variety it's almost you know it's, it's graduating towards the part of um putting like musical theater out on the field i mean that's kind of where the, that's uh, exactly the, the what sport's I, going and, yeah and i was just I, and that and the time and effort that you all put in for that it's very intricate and so, and, I, and I'm always seeing out here practicing too. So, I think when you say when you think about practice, 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 and then if you, I'm seeing the result, obviously with these uh, positive results mm -hmm. in competition. Yeah. So, uh, so for for Gabby and for Josh, uh, do you feel your experience has prepared you for a highly competitive season this upcoming year? Yeah, I think that the staff that we have, like Mr. Q and the rest of them, they really pushed us over the summer to where we could have a good start. And now that they pushed us, we just have to keep going. And how did they push you? They pushed us like, it was like, hmm, how do you word it? Like they were very encouraging. Encouraging, but like the hard encouraging. We do demand a lot from yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like whiplash, is it? No, 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 oh. no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 it's not like, I'm not standing over them yelling at them, no. throwing drumsticks at them, no, no. Okay, I, I know that. but. Like when you push, and, and, and I see that, and you you're, you demand excellence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Josh, you? It's almost like like a honors or AP level like classroom, but in a different program. It's where they see the potential of the students, and mm. if the students don't give the potential that is expected, they're like, "Hey guys, like you can do better than this," because like, the staff believes in us. And if we don't hit that level, then they're like, "Well, this performance is for you." Like. Are you going to hold yourself back or are you going to do what you can do? Great, great. So best of luck in the upcoming season. And I just want to, I'll start with you, Mr. Q. Is there anything you would like to add, let the audience know, uh, any upcoming events or anything else that's going on with the upcoming season? Well, I mean, if you'd like to take a look at our show, um, you know, this Saturday is our football team's home opener. Uh, so we're actually going to perform pre-game, so it'll be about 1.40, so if you come to the game a little earlier, sit in the stands, you know, we'll be previewing our show I'll for look, you. I look forward to being there. Oh, good. Good. How about Gabby? If you want, you can come to our competition at Gateway. <laughs> oh, okay. I live there fun. there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's the competition like at Gateway? Is it pretty, it's pretty stiff? It's stiff. We have two other bands in our, our division that yeah. we'll be going up against that we think we'll be battling all season. So Gateway is one of them. Gateway is one of them. Okay. And uh, we have another, uh, Oak Crest is one of the other ones. So okay. really, really looking forward to that one. All right, Josh. Of, yeah, definitely if you can, like, we'd love for you to see what we do out there. All right, good. I look forward to seeing you out there. And, yeah. and again, I want to close by saying I'm very proud of the hard work that you put in, Mr. Petrochi, but also with the students and then the results and bring that Pemberton pride. Because, again, I know that I felt, while wow, that's, that's outstanding to hear that news. And, you know, in high school you talk about sports and other activities, but to have that band, uh, it really brings the, the level of, of uh, 
efficacy of all the students in the school when they see awards that you that you garnered uh, in 2017 and last year. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you for your efforts. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So again, I want to thank you, and and for joining us, and wish you the best of luck in the upcoming season. Thank you. And now let's take a look at how the fall athletic season is rolling out here at PTHS. Okay, I'm here with our athletic director, Mr. Joe McColgan, and our senior Cole Davis, and another senior, Madison Garcia. Welcome. Hi, how are you? All right, and I have some questions for you. And I'm gonna start with Mr. McColgan, our athletic director. Uh, it's a busy time of the year, the fall season, the start yeah. of the school year, start of the, all, this, all the many different activities that are going on. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what's taking place right now? Well, you're right, fall is a very busy sports season for us. Um, right now we have field hockey, girls tennis, boys and girls soccer and football, as well as cross country all going on right now. Cheerleading obviously also is taking part um, at, at this time of year. So very busy, a lot of students involved. Any big events coming up? Like when is the first home game? When okay. is homecoming? We have um, tomorrow at two o'clock is the first uh, home football game this year. So we're playing Cinnaminson. And um, what time is that? Two o'clock kickoff. Okay. But we're also hosting boys soccer at 10 o'clock, field hockey at 11 o'clock, and girls soccer at 12 o'clock here at well, the high school. It's going to be a busy day here on yep. our campus. Yep. And when's homecoming? Homecoming is going to be November 2nd. We're playing Ewing High School. And as of right now, our plan is to have our first night football game in school history that evening with a 6 o'clock kickoff as part of the homecoming festivities. Hang to that school spirit. <laughs> yep. So my next question is for our student athletes and Madison and Cole. Uh, I'll start with Cole. I, I've been around here all summer. I've seen you practicing. Uh, tell us a, bit, a little bit more about what's going on in your preparation for the fall season. Uh, yeah, um, we've been out here in this hot sun all summer, <laughs> working hard in the weight room, doing everything we can on the field to make sure we have everything in that we need to be in to be prepared for all of our opponents that we have to play this year. Okay, Madison? Um, same thing, we've been out here since the beginning of July trying to work hard, get some practice in, practices in. People have been going to the gym, running, all that kind of stuff just to make our bodies prepared for the season, make sure we stay hydrated in the sun, all that mm. kind of stuff. It's good to hear. <laughs> and you're both are seniors, so I'm gonna go back to you again with, it's your senior year. So I know that's a, just a different feeling, a different experience, so Cole, what, what's going through your mind being your senior year? Ooh, I'm just, you know, it was, first of all, I can't even believe how fast it went, but, you know, it's been a great experience for all four years, and I just want to end my high school career with a bang. All right. I'd like to see a winning season mm -hmm. and a good, and an athlete, and then staying healthy, too. Yeah, that, Madison. Um, I've had some up and downs with my years for soccer, but I'm really excited for my senior year. I'm glad to be back in goal, and I'm just, I'm hoping that we can win our division. I'm really hoping that we just have a great year. All right. That's good to hear. Who's your, who's your rival in the division? Um, our rival last year was definitely Palmyra, but we just beat them for our first game. All right. So off to a good start. All right. Good, good. Okay. Thank you. Next question for Mr. Mr. McColgan. Uh, everyone knows about the physical aspects and the mm -hmm. rewards from uh, from participating in athletics and, and, like I said, the physical activities and your and. Uh, but tell us a little bit more about self-esteem, self-worth. Yep. Tell us a little bit more about what you think our athletes are getting out of participating in athletics. Well, and like you said, obviously there's a physical aspect to participating in sports, but it's well documented, well researched that. In-season athletes, especially this age group, high school athletes, they, their attendance is better. They perform better academically, discipline-wise, everything's better. So there are definitely indirect um, effects of playing and participating in organized sports at the high school level. Uh, so it's more than just the wins and losses on the field. It's the, the whole person that's being developed by participating in sports. That's why, I mean, personally, I really enjoy to see the kids year-round. If they can be three-sport athletes, that's you know the entire school year where everything's on the up and up as far as their performance in the building during the school day and out here after school. It's good to hear, thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna to go to Madison first, because I went to Cole first the last time. <laughs> so being on a team, what's it, what's it mean to you about being a part of a sports team? It honestly means a lot to me. You get to meet new people, you get to help new people, the incoming freshmen, they're always looking for people. So helping them is great. It's also, it also helps you focus. You're here as a team, you play as a team, you win, you lose as a team. So trying to get everyone to come into school so they're here so they all can play in the game later or to strive for better grades or just overall be confident. 
in school and then on the field. That's great to hear. <laughs> Cole? Um, yeah, being on a sports team is definitely, you get that family vibe. Everybody, you come in, you all are playing for each other and whatnot. And I mean, I know one thing coach uh, tries to instill in our team is that it's, you have to be an example, set an example um, in the community, in the school. So I definitely think that the team keeps you focused more than anything. And I got to go a little bit deeper with you. And I'm sorry I'm going there, but last year, the team was, was behind you. I was there in the stands. I don't think there was a dry eye in, in, in the stands. So uh, I'm not going to ask you to answer anything about that, but I can say that part of being a family is when you were in a trying time, and I think the whole Pemberton family was there for yeah, you. For sure, definitely. They, so. My whole team had my back that day. So yeah. I really appreciate that a lot, and that's why I say the family vibe. And you caught a there. touchdown, too. Sure did. <laughs> I remember that. So it was yeah. a special day, but I was feeling for you that day. <laughs> thank you. So thank you. That. Mr. McColgan, anything to add? Well, you know, like these guys were saying earlier, they can't believe they're seniors. It was They just walked in this building, it seems like, yesterday as freshmen. Now they're you know, at the beginning part of their last season. Um, one of the things, a positive you can take from athletics is that you'll have experiences, shared experiences with everybody. Like Cole was saying, a family. Years from now, you'll look back on the positive moments, not just the, the games on the field, but just the experiences and being part of a program. Um, that I'm hopeful and I think we do a nice job of taking with us. And uh, you guys are off to a good start. I mean, we're working hard. Um, football had a tough loss on Friday, but it was a hard fought game um, and played a very good first half. And I think we're going to see every game out there, those guys, you know, um, improving and improving and improving. Girls soccer, great start to the season, shutting out Palmyra. You said defeat it. They shut out Palmyra. Um, and, you know, I think we're off to a good start. We'll see some good things this fall. Great. So, Madison, anything to add? And, or Madison and Cole. I think you guys got to close it out with what, ben, what else you want to add. Please pop out to all of the games, girls soccer, boys soccer, especially football. Where We need the support. We need everything you can get. What she said this Saturday, <laughs> 2 o'clock. All right. And we can say just two words. Go Hornets. Okay, Mr. McColgan, Cole, Madison, thank you for coming out and, and then taking the time to let the public know what's going on with athletics uh, in, in Pemberton Township High School. And also to the folks uh, looking at this particular edition of Inside Outlook, I hope you enjoyed this edition looking at first our, our band members and, and then our athletes. So again, closing, this is Tony Trongone. Uh, stay tuned for the next edition of Inside Outlook. Thank you. Mm -hmm.